Hey, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim, ladies and gentlemen. We are chugging right along. This is actually episode 20. I'm having a blast! A lot of people, I, I've been reading through the comments. I'm gonna be honest, I have not been reading a lot of the comments in recent times in my YouTube career. I know a lot of you know that there was a time where I would read through every single one and almost reply to every single one that warranted a reply. These days, um, I haven't, and it's just been, my life has been far too busy, to be honest, and I just do not have time. There are way, 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 way too many comments. I think eventually I will get back into that swing of things, though, where I do respond to as many as I possibly can. Um, but the reason I'm saying all this is because recently I was like, you know, I should probably take a look at some of the feedback, some of the comments uh, that people have been saying. And it's not that I'm trying to not do that. It's not that at all. Look at this hidden chest back here. It's just that I feel like my style in both streaming and also uh, Let's Plays is just doing what I want to do, and I've said this so many times in the past, um, I feel like I don't want to be influenced by any outside sources. Uh, tips are one thing, tips are one thing, and a lot of you have been leaving tips, but it's not that I'm trying to avoid what you guys are saying, it's just that I wanted to experience this as a, a new player, because I've never played a mage character more than like the, you know, intro of, of the game. So I kind of want to just figure things out for myself and not rely on other people's uh, tips and hints. Um, and the only reason I'm bringing this up is because, you know, a lot of people have been saying, use uh, the flesh spells, use this, I'm having difficulty, so use this, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, how many times have I died in this Let's Play in all 20 episodes on Adept Difficulty? Like, what, five maybe at the max? I don't think that I'm having too much of a difficult time. I'm having fun. I, I, I don't think it's a big deal. And people always make things big deals that they are not in the comment section, in YouTube. It, it's just how it works, and I understand that. Um, and I understand the complaints and it's not like there's a lot it's not like there's a huge amount of dislikes on any of my videos or anything like that it's just that I understand the complaints that I'm not using all of the magic that I should be but it's a learning experience for me and I'm learning and I'm having fun learning and basically the let's play is gonna be at its best when I'm just figuring things out and I'm doing what I want to do so please let me do that ladies and gentlemen I promise it will be better than the alternative all that being said I do appreciate your input your comments I'm not trying to say I don't but not at all in fact, I, I took some to heart, you know, I was like, should I use alteration spells? Should I use the oak flesh, stone flesh, whatever in one hand? And then, but the, even that, I don't think I need to. I think I can equip my fire bolts and, and just mostly blast things out of the air. And I think I'll be fine. So I, so yeah, I know that, oh, he drained all my magicka again, I forgot. Damn it, that bastard, and I entered combat. Um, so I know that kind of sounds like I'm it's a tricky thing to talk about, but I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm just being real with you guys and getting my opinions out there. That's all I'm trying to do. So just please understand that. Um, I, I don't think I'm having too much difficulty. Yes, there are a couple of times where I've died at certain areas, but like I said, I, how many times have I died total? Like five times? Maybe that seems like a lot to you guys, but it, it doesn't really matter to me um, that I died five times. It, it doesn't. You're going to die in a game. It's just... Unless you're that guy that beat Dark Souls without taking any damage at all. So, yeah. I'm just going to keep this Let's Play how I want to do it. I feel that that's the best way to do things. And, uh, yeah, I'm done talking about that. So, let's kill this Draugr White who has a lot of health, as you can tell. But he's also not doing anything. Um, what do I have? Okay, let's grab that. I thought that would kill you, little buddy. I guess not. Oh, another Draugr White. Great. Okay, well, let's loot you. Uh, brief invisibility. That might come in handy sometimes since we have, like, zero sneak. You do not answer. Must I use this guttural language of yours? Yeah, it'd be great. Please. Yeah, I, I don't really understand, you know, the other uh, things that you are saying. Um, so if you could, yeah, speak English, that'd be great. Just because both parties know that language, you know, it'd just be kind of you to do that. Okay, I'm just trying to waste some time here um, so that we can get our shout back up and we can shout that guy off of the ledge. Come on. There we go. All right. Hey, buddy. Um, if you could, could you not, like, ward what I'm about to do to you? Here. Good. Ward that if you want. Okay. And there you guys go. Yeah, and that, those should be two insta-kills. This guy's still fall. Yeah, see? So you can see how powerful the uh, the unrelenting force shout just is. Is. Not just is. Is. 
Um, as long as they fall a certain amount of distance, it's an insta-kill. We don't even have to spend so much time firing spells at them. Alright, so we have a lot of paths here, which, like I always say, is a nightmare for a uh, completionist like myself. But it's all good. Oh, God, I did not see that rune. Wow, that, that actually scared me a bit. Okay, how about you? He's going to sneak high. Oh, we should probably heal back up. Yeah, and then boom, boom. And like I said, some people have been saying to, you know, alternate fire bolts. But one of the comments that I read was that you don't need to alternate at this point because it uses very little magicka. And also, you have the dual casting perk that um, staggers opponents. So yeah, I think we'll just dual cast from here on out. Lockpicks, yay. And an arcane enchanter. I'm not sure if we've picked up anything in recent times that I can use. But also, a spell tome. Equilibrium. Wow, this was actually the spell that I was talking about. I feel like that spell is kind of rare. Uh, you don't see it too often. Let's take a look at it. We have to read it first, of course. Okay, I believe that was an alteration, right? Equilibrium. Convert 25 points of health into magicka per second. Caster can be killed by this effect. Uh, that sounds like something we might want to uh, favor. And also, see, like, I could put oak flesh into my left hand and then fire fire bolts at things but it seems like that would not deal nearly enough damage and i don't know i've been able to survive this long so that's just my way of thinking and i've always been very aggressive and the best you know defense is a good offense that's always been my style of gaming which is why i never really like buffing myself or anything like that i'm just like to jump into the fray and, and kill things so yeah it's just my style of gameplay and i know it's 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 hard watching somebody not playing the way you play i i understand that and i'm not trying to sound condescending i know that's sort of how it came out i'm just saying i know my play style different uh differs from a lot of people but that's just what i have to do guys okay so we have equi uh equilibrium here i wonder i wonder if this could work so can we hold this straining our health we can die of course and then can we do this? That should work, right? To be able to sort of uh, cheese your restoration. Let's just try it one more time and see if we can get a level up here. I didn't realize how fast this drains your, your health. It's going to be very tricky to use this spell, obviously. Uh, because when we need magic, we're going to be in fights. And then if I drain my health too low, obviously I can be killed. I know that's all obvious, but I'm just saying it's not... It's not a spell that I can just use, it seems like, um, anytime I want to. I'm not sure if this is working, so I'm going to stop now. But that's interesting if you can cheese it like that. Alright, let's use this Arcane Enchanter, see if we have anything. Nope, just our Ring of Minor sneaking still. Okay, so let's go over here. See if we have anything that we have not tried yet. Ooh, we do. Giant Lichen, or Lichen? It's Lichen, sorry. Uh, and Hanging Moss. Okay, anything else? That is a negative. So what can we make? Value 4. That is terrible. Value 4. That is... Are they just all valued? Oh, valued at 2. Jeez, really? That's garbage. Okay, how about you? 30? Good enough. Conjuration, 53. Okay, 63. Just goes up and up and up and up. A whole bunch of stuff there. Decent amount of chunk... Decent chunk into our uh, alchemy skill. And it looks like that. No, never mind. So let's see if we can get a level up here. No, it, it raises so low. Or so slowly when you're um, making potions that are not valued at all. Alright. And let's keep moving, shall we? Okay, this path. Consider yourself closed off, path. Let's go this way now. Uh, we came from up here. Just need to make sure there's no other paths that we missed. There is not. So let's hop down here, take some falling damage. Or not, just kidding, no. Adronok has some sly, some strong legs. Some sly legs. <laughs> Makes no sense at all. Okay, so we can go through there, or we can head deeper below. And I hear the chime of a Nernroot somewhere. Although it doesn't really matter in this game. Um, I think they both lead to each other. I'm sort of remembering this, uh, particular dungeon. Well, I should. It's, like, the biggest one. Well, it's not the biggest dungeon, but it's definitely one of the more fleshed-out dungeons in the game. Okay. 
Let's see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's that Nernu. It is an alchemical ingredient, so I might as well grab it. Yeah. And I did remember that there is a path. Oh, but we actually have to go into there. Okay, so we're not going to do that just yet. This is the part that leads back to that other door, I think. Or that other path. And look, we have a secret uh, little area over here. Dead Argonia. A chest. Coin purse. And that's it. You know, I really do like those little pockets of, like, treasure that you can find in this game. It seems like they, they put them in a lot of different areas, which is nice. The only thing is, it's never unique. It's just sort of a sort of little tiny bonus. It doesn't really feel that significant. It doesn't really promote too much exploration. This is all my opinion. Um, okay. Moving on. Oh. All right. So as you can see, we don't really need to alternate. We can just keep doing this because he's going to keep getting staggered. And I believe a restless Draugr is lower on the totem pole. Oh, it it is indeed, yes. Yeah, so they keep getting staggered when we dual cast. And we have enough magic to cast Firebolt now a decent amount of times. So that's what we shall do. And I just have to remember that we do have access to that Equilibrium spell now. Even though, like I said, it's going to be extremely tricky to cast that um, without dying. And also, by the way, I just want to make the stipulation that alchemy is in the uh, the sneak side. Of, well, the, 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 what, thief side of uh, the level up constellations. It's not actually a part of... Uh, I'm not Arin, I'm Adranok. Into the thoroughfare? Yeah. Yeah, you would think, I don't know, it, actually, it's not really related to magic at all, is it? it? It actually makes more sense that it's in the thief side of things. Because thieves use poison, and of course, everybody uses potions. Everybody uses potions. Yeah, but anyways, just wanted to make that stipulation that we, it's just a bonus thing that we're yeah. doing. We don't, we don't really have to, um, put alchemy up, because it's not really related to magic. Okay, this is what I like to see. Thank you. Give me some base level enemies for a change. Not just these whites that take 10 years to kill. And see, when I say something like that, that's when people go like, Well, it takes 10 years to kill because this, because that, because this. Although, it's not like we can improve our damage, right? Unless we... I don't know. Is there something that improves damage for... Other than perk points, obviously. I'm trying to think. Again, new to mages, guys. Let me... Let me just explore. It's not... We're making good progress, I think. Man, it, this guy is draining my magic at the most inopportune times. Come on, dude. Can't do it when, like, a freaking skeleton appears. Let's go. Okay. Um, little secret area over here. I see you, Chess. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, and thank you. All right. Let's go back and kill that skeleton now. It's probably going to take more than one hit, I would imagine. Yep. Aren't you special? You think you're cool because you have a hood skeleton? You're not cool. You're not cool at all. Alright, so obviously we have some sort of figure taunting us and draining our magicka. Uh, which is not good. Now, think about that. It's draining our magicka. Okay, and I know that there was something weird over here. I'm remembering this uh, area, Labyrinthian, more and more. Yeah, if we go over here and then right to this point... Okay, I thought we could, like, whirlwind sprint over to that, but there's nothing over there. So we can just jump down. That's where we were a second ago, which means we need to go through here. But yeah, something is draining our Magicka, and obviously we need to find the Staff of Magnus, which hopefully will dispel that giant thing that Ancano is conjuring. So maybe you guys can put two and two together. Um, you know, the whole draining Magicka aspect. And what we are trying to find. I'm, not, I'm trying not to spoil things, and I don't even know if there was a point to what I just said, but... Uh, this place looks far too open for no enemies. I was expecting a frostbite spider to drop down, but no such... I was going to say luck, but it's not really lucky. Okay, here we go. Where, where did you even come from, troll? We'll have to do some investigation. Okay. Luckily, fire kills trolls pretty easily. Let's go back in the sneak. 
Alright, yeah. It's getting pretty annoying, you draining my magic, man. Like, come on. Now I just have to wait. Talk to these beautiful people while I do so. How was y'all's day? My day? Well, I usually record pretty early. I usually record around noon, mountain time. Um, I guess that's not really that early, but... Look at that! Wow, the... Okay, so it, <laughs> it set the ground on fire. He walked into the fire, and that's the damage that we did. Aw, oh, I wanted that to hit him so bad. I wanted to feel so cool. But oh well. Yes, one by one, everybody. Come on up. I have enough fire bolts for everybody. You can have one right to the face, sir. And another one. That's fine. Okay. And we've got another cloak guy up here, but I think we all know what I'm going to do to this guy. If he stands still, I believe the range is this good. Oh! Oh, oh no. I guess it... I guess the power dissipates. You're really going to use that time to gesture, Skeleton Man? I don't think that was a smart use of your time, sir. Okay, let's see. There's a path over there. Yeah, sometimes I get into hidden treasures mode. I'm like, there's a path over there. There's this over there. There's nothing in this room, but... Aaron's dead, actually. If you could, uh, you know, respect the dead and, and chill with the Aaron's. Oh, another troll. Wow. Okay. Sorry about that, buddy. I mean, yeah, I'm mainly sticking to, to fire here, so it's not really good for you. Um, maybe if you were a frost troll, you know, your stronger brother, it would have. Oh, even even more. Okay. Yeah, so now now this is better. Now that I've switched back to dual wielding again. Dual casting. They can't really do anything. They're just staggered for forever. And I like that. It sounds like something that would happen to the player character. And you're like, well, is this really happening? Well, mostly in an MMO, I guess. Like Elder Scrolls Online. I just keep getting staggered over and over. I can't do anything. Okay. And what do you have for me, Mr. Troll? Some troll fat, and is that it, sir? As well as a whole bunch of blood. I mean, honestly, you could contract a disease from that stuff. You guys should clear that out. Just kidding. Trolls are obviously not intelligent enough to understand the concept of hygiene. All right, so through the gate we go. Sounds like we're getting pretty close here. I don't imagine this being is going to be draining our magicka too uh, much more times. Does that make sense? Too much more times? Much more, I guess. Goodbye, skeleton. And hello, chest. Okay, okay, okay. Was there anything on this bridge other than all of these bags of bones? Nope. Oh, jeez, I remember this. Oh, no. I'm going to save the game here. This could go wrong. Save it right there. Uh, so, we have some... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, too. Yeah, so... These are wisps, right? We can't really see what they're... Yeah, they're wisps. Okay. So not... We have, like, three things that look exactly the same. We have wisps, we have the magical anomalies, and we have the uh, ice wraiths. And then, whenever there are a bunch of wisps, there's usually one of these guys, or girls, I should say... Which is a wisp mother. Oh, she gets staggered too, though. See, now, I just realized this would be a good... ...opportunity to use... ...one of the, uh, flesh spells. And I didn't. So I'm realizing that now. I, need, I, I knew there would be a wisp mother. But I did not, um... ...use one of those spells. So I guess, yeah. Let's, let's just start doing that. I'm open to suggestion. So... Um, that would be alteration, and then we will favorite that, and then we will cast that in one hand. Okay, now we could really use some magicka, and unfortunately I did not wait, so we don't have access to highborn. Um, but we should have at least some, yes, there we go. Alright, now let's switch back to Firebolt. It's just confusing. There's so many spells that we have that we pretty much have to favorite. So, I don't know. I, that's always been my style. Just attack something nonstop. Okay, so that's actually a shade. Yeah, those were both shades. And as you can tell, they um, 
are not real. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, so even with Oak Flesh, she does a lot, 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 lot of damage. Kind of a glass cannon here, I guess. Yeah, we most certainly are. Alright, so we're pretty close to killing her here. Um, I'd really not like to not use all of my magicka potions, but... Oh boy, that was fatal. Not fatal, but... Oh god, no, no, no. Oh my god, that was really bad. I understand. I understand. That was very, very bad. Okay, we'll have to use the rest of our potions here. And... Come on, get staggered. And there we go. I wonder if that explosion would have dealt damage to me. And kill me. Let's heal ourselves back up. Apparently there is a perk called like mage armor or something. I think, yeah, let's actually just, eh, should we wait till we level up? I don't know. Let's, there's, there's apparently a perk called mage armor. It might be an alteration actually. Let's see what we have. Uh, no, no, there it is. Mage armor. Protection spells like stone flesh are twice as strong if not wearing armor. So that's kind of the point of not having any type of armor on you. Like I was mentioning in episodes past, uh, we could, yeah, just use stone flesh, basically buff ourselves every time. So that could definitely be something that we do. I, I'm, I'm liking that actually a lot. We just enchant everything that we have or we wear something unique like the archmage ropes, archmage ropes. And then we uh, use that like stone flesh. That could be something. So maybe we'll start working towards that. But we don't have much alteration. All right, so we'll have to find a way to... This is my thought process. I'm just letting you guys in on it. We'll have to find a way to implement all of these things at once. So let's let's talk about that right now. We'll start with illusion. The uh, illusion is the one that I'm not really sure how we, we would be able to do it. I'd have to still think about that one. Conjuration also just seems like something I'll switch over to at some point instead of destruction once we get a decent uh, leeway into destruction. Obviously, destruction is what we've been using primarily, so we're good on that. Restoration, we heal after battles, so we're good on that. Um, and then alteration, I guess we'll just buff ourselves before every fight with an oak flesh, stone flesh, whatever ability. And enchanting just comes naturally. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's get some wisp wrappings and eat them. Uh, wisp wrappings are one of the more um, rare items in the game, obviously, because I can count on like one hand how many times you see a wisp in this game. It's, it's not often, not often at all. Okay. So we're out of magic potions, which obviously means that, um, well, we're going to have a boss fight on our hands, and it's it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult indeed, because... Did you want children? What would be your wrongdoing? That it would only serve to strengthen me? No, he, again... Uh, he's dead. I He didn't really tell me anything. So if you could stop, it's kind of an issue for me. I don't want to hear about my dead um, Archmage. Okay, wow. This actually might be a lot deeper than I thought because I forgot about these specific doors. I don't... There might not be a shock door, actually. I don't remember a shock door. We've already been through a a door that we needed to use flames on, and now this one we needed to use frost bite on. But I'm not remembering a flame or a shock door. Come on. We can't stop now. We have to keep moving. Where's Elvon? She was behind me. Dead. Some from behind. Gone before I could do anything. This is insanity. Wait, Elvon. This is all my fault. Should we turn around, head back? I don't think going back is a good idea. Going back would be the end of all of us. We keep pushing forward and we'll make it. We will! Come on, you can make it. Let's go. Y'all done? Y'all gonna disappear now? Without a trade? Yeah, okay. Spectral Warhound, Ectoplasm, and also... A drain heart sword. I think this is the only location with these. I remember collecting 
one of each. There's like a drain something bow and et cetera, et cetera. So we will do that. Even though I don't know, they're not unique still because we can find, I, I don't know. If we find one of each, then we'll consider them unique. How about that? Let's go back in and sneak. Face your end. I'm trying, man, but this place, it's like a labyrinth, dude. All right, looks like it wants me to jump down there or not. Um, can we jump down there? There is like a little spot where we can drop down. I think we want to go this way though. Thank you. Okay. So far so good. Still need to go to that that stone that increases all of our skills at 15 by 15%. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. I just it's just one of those things that I keep forgetting to do. Now, if it's a single target like that, there's no use to buff ourselves. But, as we can tell, there's a lot of other guys coming. The only issue is, obviously, it drains a significant portion of our ma uh, magicka. And then we have to rely on the little bit of that we have left. So, sometimes it's just not worth it. I don't think, anyways. Yeah, so this guy has a drain heart bow, as you can probably tell. Okay. Okay, fire an arrow, and stand still for me, buddy. There you go. One more should do the trick. Just have to wait. Just mess with him in the meantime. Healed up a little bit, I think, though. There we go. Very nice. Okay, drain spell bow. And another Drain Heart Sword. So they are not unique, indeed. Absorb 15 points of stamina, and obviously the bow is going to be absorb 15 points of magicka. Oh, boy. All right. I'm, I'm really actually worrying about the boss fight. I We're very low on potions. In fact, I don't believe we have any magic potions left. We've got a lot of health potions. That's not really an issue, is it? Okay, boom. Now we play the waiting game. I mean, I guess, yeah, let's just use the equilibrium any time that we can. It is dangerous. But when there's one enemy, it shouldn't be too difficult. Especially if they're melee. Oh, no, I did not mean to take out Fireball. Wow, okay, that was a mistake. Saw my entire mana bar drain, and I was like, oh no, what did I just do? Aw, oh, man. You had to turn around at that last second, dude. And adios. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe these guys are only in this area. Drain blood battle axe. Yeah, there's no point to take these. These are not unique, so I'm not going to take them. All right, so this should be... Yeah, there's the trap door up there. Let's heal ourselves. Okay. And another tip was that if we wait one hour, it recharges all of our stuff. And I, for some reason, I haven't been doing that. Into the Tribune. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, our quest marker is now one that is not behind a door, which means we might very well be in the final room. I don't really remember. Like I said, you would imagine there would be three doors, one for fire, one for frost, one for shocks, but I don't remember there being a shock store, and obviously we've been uh, traversing this dungeon for quite a long time. We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. We will continue in the next one and probably end the Mage's Guild, maybe. Who knows? I'll see you there. Bye-bye.